Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, so many of them. The cryptocurrency market has come to stay in Africa. Today on TechBridge, we are talking to the director of Binance Lab on the direction of the market. Please join me. My, my role at Binance is primarily with Binance Labs. Um, and Binance Labs is the venture arm of Binance.com. And you know, our goal is to realize the full potential of blockchain um, across the world. Um, primarily, we do that by incubating, investing, and supporting uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency projects, um, communities, and entrepreneurs. Um, and specifically, I joined Binance in November of uh, 2018, um, although we publicly announced it in January. Um, and you know, my, my role is, is twofold. Well, one is to um, invest and support uh, African uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency entrepreneurs, but also to develop the um, nascent blockchain ecosystem. So compared to the rest of the world, um, you know, Africa, even though I personally believe that Africa has the largest potential upside in terms of sort of the adoption and the utility of blockchain and its applications, um, we are sort of just getting started. Um, but I see that more as an opportunity than a challenge and something that I'm excited to, uh, you know, try to help um, improve or catalyze the ecosystem. Uh, so at Binance, we, we sort of do three things, three to four things. Um, number one is we have the um, fellowship program where we support individual developers or researchers. Um, we give them a monthly stipend of about $3,000 a month um, where they're contributing to um, open source uh, projects or like code or you know, tools that we believe will make the ecosystem better. Um, we also have an incubation program um, which we've been running an application cycle for the last couple of months. Um, and the first chapter, the first vision chapter in, in, in Africa is starting um, on the 1st of, of April. Um, and, you know, we've funded um, a decent number of teams based out of Africa. And each team has gotten $120,000. Um, so that is sort of like the check size for the incubation program. Um, then we also do direct investments as well. So direct investments could range from anything from... 100k to two to three million dollars, um, and so this is sort of like you know the the three things that we do. Um, we also sometimes look at doing um, direct in, or LP investments into blockchain or cryptocurrency funds. Um, I think we're still very 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 early. Um, you know, in terms of the number of sort of projects or number of exchanges and meetups. Um, so, a couple of weeks ago, I was sort of just looking at the entire space and trying to map out, you know, what are the, you know, what are sort of key indicators that you can use to classify how the ecosystem is developing. So, um, in 2016, I believe there was only sort of like one blockchain meetup across Africa. Um, the following year, that number increased by two more meetups, and then in 2017, I believe. You know, all of a sudden, there were 13 new meetups across Africa, and in 2018, there were 17 new meetups. So you could see, like, the, the interest was also increasing as well. Um, if you look at the exchanges, you know, the, prof the proliferation of exchanges across Africa has also increased. Um, Nigeria alone has sort of 12 exchanges. I think South Africa comes next to 10 exchanges. Um, and so what you begin to see is sort of interest on the meetup sides, and then, like, exchanges which are, in our opinion, very important. Um, so you have sort of a financial on-ramp which allows individuals to move from, from, from fiat, so traditional um, you know, currencies, to um, sort of decentralized digital currencies. Um, uh, where we're sort of missing right now is actually in the talent, right? So um, the number of blockchain developers on the continent is you know, very, very small. And it's one of the things or areas that I'm you know, thinking about to say, okay, how do we solve for this? How do we, if we believe that this technology has the potential to leapfrog 
um, Africa into the fourth industrial revolution, then we actually need the builders. We need the developers, people who can take this technology, but at the same time have the local context of the problems in the market and build solutions that are um, viable and solve you know, really large systemic problems. Yeah, um, the first thing I would say is like, this is not investment advice, um, but I do believe that most individuals should have exposure to cryptocurrencies um, in one way or the other. Um, my big, the first thing, that, or the second thing would be, do not invest more than what you can afford to lose. Um, so maybe a single percentage of your um, sort of um, monthly income um, and then hold for the long term, right? So don't, in, don't invest in cryptocurrencies because you think you're going to make 10 times your money in one week or one month. I think that's just bad um, sort of rationale, right? So um, I would say like, you know, have minimal exposure to cryptocurrencies and, and um, you know, hold for the long term. And then do your own research, spend a lot of time sort of reading content, understanding why you know, this matters and, 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 and why it's useful. Um, there are a ton of websites that help with this. One of my favorite ones is uh, Decrypt Media. Um, and I think, you know, I tweeted a while back when I said that, um, you know, the ideological on-ramps are equally as important as the sort of financial on-ramps, right? So it's not just about being able to go from fiat to crypto, it's about really understanding what crypto is and sort of like what blockchains are and, you know, what the problems it solves and why it's better than the, the, the status quo. Hi, my name is Yeli Badimossi. I'm the director of Binance Labs and founder of MicroTraction. You're watching Business Day Tech Bridge.